This is an Anasazi hardware video for the EFT series of NMR spectrometers. I'll be giving you step-by-step -step instructions for removing the probe for a Varian EM390 magnet with the EFT upgrade. The removal of the probe is going to require about 15 minutes of time. You'll see from the video that it's not very difficult. If you're having your probe cleaned, remember to send your spinners with to the factory. And be sure to follow the box in a box packing instructions when you're shipping the probe. The tools are minimal. You will need a 5/32 Allen wrench or hex driver, along with a chip puller or small screwdriver for removing one of the connectors. We're going to open the lid of the magnet to reveal this cavity. And the first thing we'll do is remove the two RF cables that have BNC connectors on them. They should be labeled H and X. Next, we'll remove the four socketed hex cap screws that hold the heat shield in place. You want to make sure to set these four screws aside for safe keeping and uh, far enough from the magnet opening so they don't fall into the magnet. Once that's done, we'll remove the heat shield and set that aside as well. Once you've removed the heat shield, you reveal some gray foam insulation that is surrounding the cavity. Remove that and set that aside with the heat shield. Once the gray foam is removed, we'll see the 24 pin dip connector and the Tigon tubes for spin and eject. You may want to label the two cables for spin and eject as you remove them. Once that's done, you can remove the 24 pin dip connector. If you don't have a chip puller, you can use a small screwdriver. You'll want to gently pull up on that very straight when you're pulling up on it. The pins on the connector are very fragile and easily broken. So again, be very careful. Once those are removed, you can set those aside as you see in the picture. And the next thing we'll do is remove the two socketed hex cap screws that hold the probe to the magnet. Again, you want to set those screws aside in a safe place with the other four screws that you removed and keep them away from the opening of the magnet. We're now ready to remove the probe, so we'll grab the spin tube and gently pull up on the probe. You can wiggle the probe front to back, but try not to wriggle the probe left to right. After the probe is removed, I would recommend putting the insulation back into the opening and placing the heat shield back on top of there. That'll keep the magnet protected and keep the magnet warm. There is a very fragile piece of glass inside the probe. You want to be very careful when you're packing that so that it is received by the factory in good condition. If the glass is broken, it's going to take more time and money to repair that. So place the probe in some cushion packing material and place that in a box. Once you've done that, place that box into a larger box with padding all around it for added protection. Remember to send the spinners in with the probe when you're shipping it off to the factory. This is a video showing how to remove the probe from an EM390 magnet. The first task, as you see here in the video, is to remove the shield, which is made out of aluminum. The cables in this case have already been disconnected from the angle B and C connectors that have those filters on them. You'll also need to remove foam, as you just saw. The foam will reveal a what is called a dip connector that is for the shims and you need this special tool that you see being used which is an 
IC puller as we call it for integrated circuit puller and this is where you need to be very careful to not bend the pins on that blue rectangular connector. You pull straight up and evenly, not using a lot of force or pulling to the side, it needs to come straight off the connector. Then set it aside, as you see here, in a safe place where the pins won't be damaged. Next, you take the hoses off of the SP and EJ lines. You might find it useful if necessary to label the hoses so you know which one is which, but that's not a big problem if, if you get them switched. Next, you use the same tool, which is a 5 30 seconds hex, to remove these screws on either side of the probe. Now the probe is ready to lift out of the magnet. You grasp by the spin tube and pull straight up. Might have to give it a little wiggle. It fits in snug, but not real snug. And this is what the probe looks like, showing the connections, the shim cables. So it's easy. Next thing is to take these shims so just to prevent them from falling into the magnet and of course we don't want anything to fall into the magnet <clears throat> no screws nothing magnetic especially it's helpful to put a block of foam over there over the cover over the hole to prevent things from falling inside and to keep it equilibrated at temperature